This week, award-winning author Richard O'Neill visited our school with a bunch of exciting new stories. Each day he focused on a different class to inspire and help them with techniques of writing. We know everyone has really enjoyed this week, but we want to know what was your favourite part of the storytelling week? My favourite part of the storytelling week has just been working in such a friendly and enthusiastic environment. Every class that I've been into has just been wonderful. The teachers, the support staff and the children have just taken some of the ideas and just expanded them and it's been so much fun for me to get that uh, wonderful experience of working with such enthusiastic people. Mr O'Neill, why did you become an author? Well, I was telling a lot of stories in schools and children were really, really interested in the stories and enjoying them. And then a lot of children and parents kept saying to me, will you write them down? Will you write these stories down so we can share them? And really that was the main reason why I became an author, because people wanted, people in other parts of the country, because I can only go to so many schools in a year, but lots of other schools around the country wanted my stories, so that was the main reason for putting them into, into books and becoming an author. And since I did that, I've really enjoyed it, so I've done more and more books. So it's, it's, it's hard work, but it's really enjoyable as well. How do you come up with such amazing ideas? Do you use your surroundings or is it you just make it up in your head or is it a mixture of both? That's a really good question again. Uh, it is a mixture of both because you see, I was very, very lucky to be born with such big ears. So I, I listen to lots of different conversations and as I travel around the country and go to lots of different places, I do try and listen my best and then somebody will, will say something that I think is interesting, then I'll think, oh, what can I do with that? And I might put it with something else, and then my brain sort of wiggles it around a bit, and then I come up with something that might be a little bit weird or a bit interesting and a bit funny, and that's how it happens, yeah. Is it easy becoming an author? It isn't easy. Um, nothing good is easy to do. It does take a lot of time. So there are lots of people who want to be authors, and you, like with everything else, you've got to start off. And... It depends what you want to do. Do you want to write a long book? Do you want to write a little book? Do you want to do a cartoon type book, a graphic novel? You've got to think about what you want to do and then try and focus on that. So it takes quite a bit of focus and quite a bit of discipline as well. But I think anybody can be an author if they try hard enough. What tips do you have if I want to become an author when I'm older? The first thing I would say is you've got to read lots of books. Read as much as you can because then you'll understand how stories work and how authors work. And you'll get lots and lots of information from that. Keep writing. Every day if you can, write something. Get a notebook. You know the notebook I showed you before, my notebook. Any little ideas, put them in that notebook and then keep looking at them. And then find out what you like to write about. You see, I like to write about funny things and funny people and situations. Some people like to write about serious things. Some people like to write about history. Some people like to write about uh, the supernatural. So whatever you want to, whatever you like, then that's the thing that you should be writing about. Okay? Thank you, Mr. O'Neill, for taking part in our interview. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.